Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Jonathan Heath. I am currently a student at Full Sail University, and I'm creating my own Sonic game on the side. So, real quick, real quick, real quick. I'm going to play through Sonic Adventure 2. I'm going to play through Sonic Adventure 2 real quick. Sorry, I'm having some weird things with it. With the, okay. Okay. So, here's what we're going to be doing. Damn it. I'm sorry. Alright, I should fix it. That way it's just not funky. My headset must be, the wire must be all messed up. Actually, you can already see it's hanging from my head, so you already know it's not the greatest. But I'm trying to do what I can. Anyway, I already missed one thing I wanted to show you. I just thought of this. This is my second time playing through. This is my second time trying to do it. I just realized I could probably make those, those fans that are floating in the air and spinning. That's really easy to do. I'm going to be making these signs. I'm going to be making this road sign, this road block, and one other thing I'm going to be making, which I will show you momentarily. Alright, we're going to get there. We're going to get there real quick. There's one more thing I wanted to show you. Hey, look, there's the blimp. I want to do that. I'm probably going to change out my light colors instead of red, probably to that silverish. This is all polish. This is all polishing stuff, which is pretty much slightly where I am after I figure out animation. I have almost I have almost a ready prototype for you folks. So, it's roughly almost prototype stage. Definitely not an alpha, definitely definitely not a beta. So, with the I'm going to release it to you guys very soon. Probably leave you a link to my Google Drive where, I store, where I'll store it. So you guys can give me your opinions. Give it a playthrough and be like, hey, this is not bad. Or hey, this is a piece of crap. Boom, there it is. Alright, there is... Oh, man! That died. That was stupid. I'm getting sloppy because I'm... No. What the heck? I, 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 I've never seen that happen. I, I hit a glitch of some type. I just hit a glitch of some type. That, that, that's a glitch or something. I've never seen that happen before. That's the first time I've ever done it. That's literally the first time I've ever done that. Okay. I'm going to make that blimp. So, these polishing prototypes things that I've done are works in progress, or what I plan to do. Are definitely things I'm going to be working on. This is weird. That's the only one that has the ability to grind on. I've tried to grind on every other one in this game, but that's the only one I can grind on. Why you would make only one grindable? I don't know. But, hey. All right. Here's the toll booth. Here's the toll booth. I am going to recreate this. I'm going to recreate this in Unity, the roadblocks, and everything else I pointed out. The roadblocks, the road signs, and the uh, highway sign. All of that I'm going to recreate in Unity. I can do it. Other more complicated things I'm going to need Blender. And I have to train myself in Blender before I do that. So, I'm going to leave real quick. Yeah, I could use the extra rings for my chow, but I'm also trying to get this done real fast, so I can, uh, I've got to do some homework. So, we're going to leave this soon. We're going to leave this now. Now we're going to go to Unity. So, we're going to Unity. Alright, we are now...
There we go, we're now on Unity. So, I'm going to show you real quick what I've done so far, what I'm going to do, and then I'll have you guys on your way. So, I created something to make myself speed up the process. You see this? It's a teleporter. Now I don't have to play through the whole stage just to test one thing at the very end. Saves me a lot of time. A lot of time. So. Alrighty, so ladies and gentlemen, I've been wanting to do this for a minute, but I finally figured out how to make the uh, rail grinding script that I already had work. So, I finally figured out how to make it work. It took some fooling around with, as well as some modifying the code. I'm making this video in a hurry, so I will show you the code for this at a later time. I'm just showing off some stuff right now. So, boom! He's grinding. That is a side-scrolling trigger. And when he entered the green box, that put him in side-scrolling mode. So, you can sometimes get the momentum to go over that ramp. It needs some work. I'll fix it. Promise, I'll fix it. I gotta go back through and readjust some stuff. So, instead of playing through the entire map, I'm gonna show you one more thing. So, boom. Ah, wrong, wrong transport. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the end of the stage. So I programmed this loop using all the same loop-de-loop -loop codes I've been using for the last couple time waves. This one just took a little bit, but I got it to work. So, anyway, this is Sonic moving around in the loop, the final crisscross. I'm going to probably tweak the camera in some way in the future. So, there you go, folks. This is over the course of the last couple weeks. This is now the prototype Radical Highway stage I have ready so far. I might add a few more uh, events, but other than that, I'm going to be sending something similar to this to my Google Drive account for other people to give it a shot and play. There's probably... I know why that's been it, so I'm going to go ahead and leave Unity now. Bye, and now I'm back. So, quick, 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 quick recap. I am going to go ahead and enlarge my face while we conversate. So, here is what I'm planning to do so far. Besides, besides trying to figure out how to make my face get bigger. <laughs> so, number one, hedge physics. I'm going to look into hedge physics some more. Now I finally have internet, so I now no longer have to jump from one place to another place to another place. So, no longer having, now having internet, I'm going to take a look at hedge physics very thoroughly before I continue any farther in my project. Well, I might do a few things in it, but for the most part, I'm going to probably be at a standstill with it. I'm going to take a look at hedge physics and see what I'm going to do with it been a little bit difficult without internet but to take a look at it. Now I have internet, so there's no need to worry about it. I can figure out what I need to figure out to make hedge physics work after homework. Got to do homework. <laughs> Next, I'm going to, depending on if I use hedge physics or not, I'm going to, that's the word I'm looking for, I'm going to tweak Sonic's physics and tweak a few physics in the actual radical highway prototype level as you see fit to make some more events, some more animation, some more action in a stage. Kind of like how you saw those fighters bombing Shadow. I'm gonna do something. It's not gonna be fighters bombing Shadow because that's another whole other evolution to make fighters, but at the very least, I can do something. I can definitely do something. So, stay tuned for that. And then the very final thing I plan to do. Within the next week, I want to start streaming. I'm one hoping that it might be uh, interesting, liked by people, but I would like to start streaming 
the uh, creation process. So, within the next couple weeks, I'm going to start streaming. Still working on my quality of videos. Still working on everything. This is my old gaming headset. I broke the this piece, so I'm holding it right now. I'm hoping that my voice sounds better and we don't hear all that nasty static and background noise. So, within the next couple, I'm going to continue working on my sound quality. I'm going to continue working on everything. But I'm going to want to stream very soon and have a live stream of me working on something in this level or the next part. I'll show you in my next video a piece of it called that I've been creating a city hub level. Similar to station, actually it is station square. But I'm going to expand upon it. I'm going to make a much larger environment for the player to explore. Make a long story short, when I first heard of Sonic Adventure's hub world, in a matter of speaking, the adventure mode, I was like, man, that's going to be fun. And, you know, my mind went everywhere expecting a big, massive world to explore. Not so much. Yeah, Mystic Rudens with So-So was a little bit big, but it was still nothing what I was expecting. I was expecting a lot more with the adventure mode and being able to explore a little bit that we didn't get in Sonic Adventure. Unleashed did a half-decent job. Sonic 06, let's not talk about 06. So I'm going to create the hub world, the adventure mode, the large-scale project that I, as a gamer, back in the day, when I first played Sonic Adventure, after playing Sonic Adventure 2, what I was expecting when I heard they were going to create a hub world, that they had a hub world, an adventure mode for you to explore. What I was expecting, what my mind was predicting. So, that'll be something fun to do. That's my next project. I've already created something, but it requires work. And I'm already running short on time, so I'll show you that in the next video, what I've been creating with the City Hub. Green Hill Zone Sonic Adventure 2 is also still in effect. I'll make a prototype of that as time goes on too, but I've barely started that level. So, perhaps once I do some final tweaks and probably add a little bit more polish to Radical Highlight, I'm going to release a prototype. I'm going to release a prototype. I'm going to have a link to my Google Drive account for players to play. Let me know what you think. When that happens, I don't know how, what else I need to do with Radical Highway, perhaps get some more ideas. Green Hill Zone and the City Hub will be something in the working project. I can see Phase 2 where I release a second prototype of all three stages and go from there. But with no other further delay, my uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and let you go. That's what I'm planning. I hope to look forward to it. I want to thank you all for taking the time for joining me. And uh, stay tuned in this wonderful, adventurous process of learning how to make a game. Thank you all for your intuitive and great close attention. In the future, I'll show you how I created some extra scripts, what I did to change some things around, as well as, once again, as always, I'll have a link in the description to where I found my assets, where I found the scripts that I'm actually using right now that I haven't created myself from Jonathan Agnes and the GitHub website, if I remember correctly. I'll have a link to that. So, once again, thank you for watching. Please smash that like button. It really helps me. Please subscribe if you want to know when I make more and click that little, click that little bell button. So, I'm going to be continuing onward. Hopefully, I see you guys in the future. Please smash that like button. Leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you guys. I'm just barely starting my adventure. So, ever, so as always, please stay safe. And fair winds and following seas.